My name is George Karunas. I'm a professional storm chaser and explorer in residence with the Royal Canadian Geographical Society, and I'm based in Toronto. I have spent an entire lifetime literally traveling around the world, documenting extreme natural phenomena, climbing inside volcanoes, chasing hurricanes, driving into the eye of storms. So I've seen a lot of weird stuff. And on this particular trip, I was on a boat that was traveling around the northern tip of Vancouver Island. It's very remote, nobody lives there, there's no roads. And we're literally surfing in these tidal rapids, gunning the motor, basically going almost as fast as we can just to try and push against this current, just a few feet away from these rocks where the water is crashing against, knowing that if you were to slip and fall overboard, you would either be crushed by the rocks or drown almost immediately because of the force of the water. When the trip is over, I get back home and I offload all the footage onto my computer. And as I'm editing through, I start to see what looks like the island is moving. At first glance, this makes no sense whatsoever. Why is this thing on the move? There were a lot of comments saying that this island is somehow resting on the back of this gigantic turtle and all of these mythological ideas that really sparked a lot of people's interest. Islands do sometimes move in certain ways. They rise up, they erode away, they come and go. A number of years ago, I was on an expedition in the South Pacific and a brand new volcanic island had erupted out of the sea near Tonga and I became one of the first people to ever set foot on the newest land on Earth. It was still warm to the touch, like fresh baked bread that had just come out of the oven. It didn't take too long for me to figure out the different combination of factors that made up this illusion. There's me drifting in the boat, there's the background of the trees, the current that's hitting against the rocks really makes it look like the bow wake of a ship. And really the only answer is that this was a trick of the eye that can only be seen from a moving boat with a zoom lens in that exact spot at that exact time of day during the tidal shift. But people love seeing these things. They love seeing these spectacles of nature because we spend so much time in our climate controlled house. And then we go to our climate controlled car and go to our climate controlled office. And we spend very little time out in nature, especially in those places where there are the extremes and those are the places that I love so much.